Hello, this is Marillion. Welcome back to my channel, man. And today we're going to be discussing the top 10 strongest units in Grand Cross JP. But first, look, let me just look at this. See, they already got like the new characters ranked up. They got Mo Mono. They got a rank B. <laughs> is their name? Wait, I'm about to say, is their name Things? <laughs> they got a. Like, this using Google Translate, so they got her as Things. <laughs> they got East End ranked A. That's. That's obvious. She's pretty nice with her passive and um her buff. But here's their strongest top ten characters. We're gonna discuss on why they're the top ten strongest. So Rigal, most versatile unit ever. Amazing ultimate has attack seal, which attack is like the most used card ever. People don't use debuffs like that. So that's why he's ranked number one. Like him be able to be a uh, amazing support character, it's just so good. He makes almost any team way better. Then we got in the bottom second place, Blue King. Blue King, the best free to player unit ever, man. Like I'm surprised they even gave this to us. This should be definitely a play to win character, man. He has the amazing kit, petrify heal and then the ultimate that ignores patience he's just so dumb petrify is so disgusting i mean the problem with him is probably maybe um he can melt quickly versus a green escanor but without that man that petrify is just so good the heals is amazing especially when he's with red gal so good and then they have lilia top Rank three, she's ranked three. Oh, I like that. I like that because I use Penty. I like that. Well, I can tell why Lilia like rank three. Her being able to just stop gauge and heal, heal cleanse that that is so good. And then her passive, which can make other units support characters way stronger, like Blue Demelli, Escanor, which fits perfectly on a Penty. I really love that. I really do. I mean, her ultimate is also good. I mean, turn silver to back to bronze and take away the gauge. That's pretty nice, too. Mm -mm. This is so good. I mean, healers are just so good. Those those two, King, Lilia, are like the best healers. So amazing. Then we got Derry. She's just so dumb. She's just a dumb unit. If you have, like, you are... If she's on, like, um... A old team, she is so dumb. Like she does dumb damage. One buff, boom. She's doing like 50k with a bronze card. She just does so much damage. It's just so it's just so dumb. Like why would they make this unit? And she has dodge on a silver and gold. The only thing that can hit hit someone with a dodge is freaking a uh, ult, or you can cleanse her buff with um green Escanor. Oh my god, so dumb. Uh, yeah, she definitely deserves fourth place as being a strong DP. Oh yeah, and she's a strong DPS for um Guild Boss, man. I've seen people like do like 9 million damage. Oh my god. Using her on Guild Boss, people are just... She just broke everything. She just broke the game. I don't know what they're going to do for her. How they going to stop her. But yeah, she just broke the game. There's no comparing. Green Jericho who... Then we got Green Escanor. He he has a an amazing passive. Once he get that full gauge, he just ignore. He just can't beat the buff. That's amazing. He does crazy damage. Like they gave this man Escanor amazing stats. Way better than probably some some of you guys who had like four out of six ult maybe or something like that. His stats are just crazy. Like. Good CP, good stats, high pin, can probably melt any blue unit easily. So good. Then we got Merlin at sixth place. Sixth place. Hmm. I can see why. Merlin has a unique passive. A very unique passive. Giving each unit one to start off with one gauge. That's a very unique passive. He has a shield. 
and she can take away gauge i can see why her use ability is very very high in pvp and probably in other different content that you may need a ult or get ult fast like she very good she be she fits very well on old teams with using old fools of course like red gal pass is also unique too because if he doesn't take any damage then he's just gonna keep buffing up everyone so you want to try to attack him too they ain't got red Escanor at seven plays they got him play seven oh oh um i guess seven because he can get attack sealed and then he can be doing like nothing for your team but i mean if he goes first or you see no attack seal unit he can he can destroy some units he can take some gauge away and he can hit you with a strong attack since he got amplified in his passive gives him an hp buff i think hp buff related stats too so he's pretty pretty good as well i really like him too i usually use him more than i use the green one because red dairy can probably just if they go first destroy green escanor in pvp so i like to use red escanor instead because you got the hp buff okay they got blue demeli in eighth place uh i think they i think they got him in the top 10 because um when he's he's with lilia it's over it's over he does crazy damage in pvp pve he's like he's an amazing farmer I'm sorry to tell you, he's the best farmer in this game with his um his attack. He can just wipe out anything. PvP content. He has a strong ult, a weakness, a weakness ult. Oh, uh, he just so dumb. And he can debuff. So yeah, that's pretty amazing. And then if he's stand alone like by himself, in PvE he's usable. In PvP, I wouldn't recommend him using him. Without Lilia, without Lilia, he's probably gonna be doing like no damage really. So, cause people be using Red King with Dairy, and Dairy passive can like stop range attack. I mean, weaken range attacks like Blue Demelli. So, I would say like don't use him standalone. Like you need Lilia, Lilia with him. He's a god. He's a god. Estherosa and ninth. Hmm. Estorosa in ninth place. I can see it. I can definitely see that in ninth place. His counter is his counter has been very clutch in PvE PvE content lately. Like what we had um what's it was on um, that what's it was that purple blob thing, pew pew, something like that? Is his counter was pretty clutch and i've been seeing like some videos um and pictures screenshots of people using Esterosa for um these number battles like number two number three like they've been using Esterosa too using this counter i really like it like and he has attack weekend on and gives himself immunity that's an amazing kit he has an amazing kit he probably doesn't output that much damage and probably needs you to attack him which is very good because he makes people play very passively especially when he got the silver and gold counter on i really enjoyed that like I, he can probably stop like most um pen teams and he can also fit on a pen team which is very very good and he's green green is very good very very good and then we have val 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 is in 10th Val, man. Oh, man. I can. Uh, should Val be in 10? Val has been not, not clutch lately in PvP. Can we put her in 10? Oh, my God. Can we, can we do that? Because Val has not been clutching in PvP lately. Like, I haven't seen less Val and more Red King in PvP. But, hmm. Hell Gray. Val has been Val is very clutch for tanky tanky hell gray hell gray Val is clutch I can see it 
I can see it, but I can also see. Hmm. I would say Rick King, but Rick King is very just PvP focused. While Val can fit both PvP and PvE. I think I gotta give it to her. I don't think of any other unit who's crossing the 10th place tier, maybe 11th place. Hmm. That fits like. That's very good in PvP and PvE. Like, Val has been very good in PvE lately, too. I think she can have that 10 plays. I can't. I can. You can probably have found some debates with this um, top 10. Like, let me see what they got in the S. Oh, uh, yeah. None, none of these S, S units can. Yeah. Yeah, Val in the top 10. None of these S units can, like, compare to Val. Yeah, we got Hellroom, Red King, Bond. They got Red King twice. Oh my god, Red King is a god like that. You gotta have him twice. Woo. Red Merlin. How is Red Merlin? Freeze? Uh, Red Arthur. Yeah. He's he Yeah, Val. Your Val can tap had 10 place. I don't think any of these other units like crossing the S tier. Yeah. Val can have it. Yep, Val can have 10 place. I fully support Val having 10 place, man. But this is not a bad stronger characters. Like you can probably debate on the rankings. Like you can probably say like, um, I would probably who would I put in through? Actually, I'm gonna ask you guys who would y'all replace for this top ten? Like who who would y'all have as the rankings? You know, because I'm seeing this like it's pretty looking pretty nice. It's pretty nice. I mean, you can probably debate with Merlin. But then again, you can't because she really helps your team. I'm seeing that the top 10 is usually like very good support support units. Like Derry is on like the only unit who's very offensive. That's like can probably cross the top three. And she's four. She can probably cross the top three and can debate. Who would y'all think is like the top 10, man? Like tell me in the comments, man. Who would y'all want as top 10? Who y'all think is can like switch up the rankings, you know? Cause this is looking pretty good. This is like a very good ranking. But thank you guys for watching, man. You know, like, subscribe, comment, all that. This is Merlin, and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>